All right, good afternoon. This time it's afternoon. Usually I do these things in the morning. So today it's the afternoon. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about another simple project that you can make money on. You have lots of people around that have RVs. You got lots of people around that have trailers, things like that, that they need to step up into. And I'm going to show you how to make steps. And it's not that hard. It's a lot easier than you think. I've done it a couple of times. I have an order coming up, I think, I'm hoping, where the guy out at one of these horse ranches, he wants, I think, eight of them in total. And that's a nice little, that's a nice little side job, okay? And again, I'm not doing this for a living. I'm doing it to fuel my hobby. So again, I keep mentioning this in the videos. Take photographs of your work, show them around. You'll be surprised. I mean, there are times where somebody will go, hey, I want one of those, you know? Or, hey, can you make me two of those? I'm going to give away one as a gift. I had a lady at Christmas time surprise me, and she said, how fast can you make them? And I go, well, I work full time. I mean, I'll work on them. And she goes, well, I want four of these. And I'm like, okay. I mean, and so I gave her a price. Pricing is another uh, thing that we'll talk about downstream. I want to get after this like we always do, short intro. Let's just get right on it. I'm going to put up a picture. Let's have a discussion about it, and we'll go from there. And I'll do, you know, the questions and answers. One moment. Okay, the first one up is not the stair steps, okay? What this is are loading ramps. But I put it up here because I wanted to show you this is not that difficult to do. Take a look at these. These are four pieces of channel steel. And you can buy, like I said, 10, 20 foot lengths of this. But what this guy did is he made this to pull or actually drive a tractor or something up on. If you take a look at this after the channel steel, he got probably nice thick gauged angle iron. And so take a look. He spaced these out and he welded them. This is not a hard project. Um, I keep a photograph of this with me and I show this to friends. I've made something similar to this one time before, but I always, like if I'm at work and I'm sitting around with a buddy of mine and he seems interested, I just hand him my phone, let him start flipping through the pictures and then... You know, we talk about it and everything else, and a lot of times I can close a sale on them. Not just these, but I mean other projects that I have. But take a close look at this, and you can pause the video if you decide you want to make something like this. And you can see this wasn't hard for him to do. Take a look up close to where he puts those ramps on. I mean, he took some flat steel, got grooves in them, so they set down into that other uh, piece of flat, the other piece of flat steel that he has either well, I think it's bolted or welded to the trailer, and he just sets them on there. They're incredibly sturdy. He drives whatever he needs up on it, and then he picks up the ramps and slides them back into the utility bed trailer. All right, anyway, let me switch it up. Let's get after what we really meant to talk about. Give me one moment. Okay, here we go. This is, uh, this is the step that I was telling you about. Not that hard to make. Let's take a look at it. You can use angle iron, which this guy did in the picture. You can use tube steel. Take a look on the bottom left. You can see he made the little steel pads out of just flat plate steel. He probably got a lot of this, or I could have easily picked up a lot of this just in the cutoff pile out at one of the steel suppliers. And then tell you the expanded metal, there's plenty of it out there. A lot of times there's quite a bit in scrap. Now I'll pick up expanded metal when I can, or I pick up diamond plate. Now I made a set of these steps and I use diamond plate, which is solid for you know both the steps works great looks good once it's painted it's an easy project now you can see here he didn't grind these welds down i mean because it's a step you know it's not a beauty contest it's meant to be functional this is a nice little thing that is not hard to make take a look at this he made almost this whole thing out of angle iron it's simple okay it really is it just takes a little bit of time you're going to need a square you're going to need a level and you're going to need a welder and a way to cut it this you could use a four and a half inch angle grinder with a cutoff blade on it. You could make it with no problem with that. If you got a chop saw, you'll go a little quicker in getting your steel prep, but very easy to do. Let me throw up another picture and I'll put them side by side after the next picture. Hold on one moment. Let's take a quick look at this picture. This is meant to be like your tip of the day and a way for you to make money. This is another way of making the similar thing. These are like a little drive up step. You can make them different lengths, different sizes, or whatever you want. I found this picture too. I thought, okay, here's another variation. Now, it isn't so much that I would make something exactly like this, 
But what I liked about this is look how he put the bolts in on the sides so that these, that ramp part can fold up or it can come down. Now that I like, that was a good idea. Um, it folds up out of the way or you can turn around and set it down when you need to and you can drive right up on it or whatever you're going to do with it. Now, again, if you can't find the expanded metal out there, look for the diamond plate. It's gonna cost you more. It's also more durable and it's nice looking also. So that's another consideration. Now let me throw up both pictures. We'll do questions and answers and we'll wrap this up. Give me just a sec. Actually, you know, uh, take, a, take a note on this before I throw up the pictures. You see how he used the tube steel and the angle iron combination? It's probably the same thing. You can pick all this up in scrap. Moment. Okay, questions and answers. Um, again, you know, what kind of wire did I use? I use 030. Um, it's what I had in the MIG welder. I just have to be careful like on some of the tube steel because you can actually get it by tweaking and playing around kind of hot and burn through it. But, you know, you can go down to 025 or something like that or you can play around. I just had to play around, you know, with what I was doing before I got the weld actually going the way that I wanted it to. But uh, use whatever wire you have. For these kind of projects, most any of it will work, but again, I use good quality wire. I use Lincoln, I use Super Arc a lot of times actually, but I'm not trying to push you to buy that. The other wires I'm sure will work fine, but I always buy good quality wire. Next question. Um, no, I get, a lo I, I get a lot of comments or email, or somebody will email me. Um, my email address is on the forum. If anybody wants it, just drop me a comment. I'll shoot it off to you in a reply. But the, the, the question they ask me a lot of times is, these look like they're too hard to make. Well, not when somebody talks to you a little bit about it. Like, let's look at the upper left again. That's just angle iron and channel steel. That's all that is. And he took his time. He probably set it on a concrete floor. And he dropped in he drops in those angle iron pieces and if you have it set up on the floor you can duplicate these real fast and real easy or you can just mark them measure them and you can weld them in it's not that hard it's really not if you have a welder i mean just go on out there and start making them and you can zoom in on any one of these pictures if you want and you can take a look how he made that bar on the back of his trailer for these ramps just to set on there drives his vehicle or whatever he's got up on that trailer and he lifts them off and slides them into the bed. So it's nothing super high end and fancy, but I mean, they're very structurally sound. They're heavy duty. You can make these things better than what you can buy. I mean, that's another nice advantage. Okay, the other one to the, to the right, like I said, it's the bolt. He used a combination of the angle iron and the tube steel, and he made the feet at the bottom just out of flat, cold rolled. The one over here on the bottom, I like this. It's a nice design. Um, I have a photograph of it. Like I said, I made one similar. I carry these things on my phone. These are easy projects. You can make money with them. Collect a series of photographs. And if you don't want to run things on Craigslist and the newspapers and all that, you can do what I do. I start showing them to people pretty soon, word of mouth. And, you know, people go, hey, I hear you can make blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you got a picture? Yeah, I'll send it to you. And in a couple of clicks on my phone, I send them a picture they can make like you know their own tweaks to it and then ask me hey can you make it or can you make it this wide this tall and all these different things but you start getting people interested and as long as your prices are not outrageous and you're trying not trying to make 80 and 100 dollars an hour these projects you can bang them out fast okay and you'll make money and it'll fuel your hobby home handyman i hope you follow me please click subscribe i'm still trying to get up there with youtube's new uh, qualifications I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next video. Maybe we'll talk about metal bending on the next one. All right. Thank you very much, folks. Bye-bye.